Hey guys, it's Dr. Ryan Hewitt here from Merrimack Valley Wellness Center. I'm here in my functional training studio. Uh, I just had a thought. I wanted to share um, something with you that uh, a, a question that I get quite often from my patients and some of the athletes that exercise at my gym. Um, and they ask me, well, doc, what should I use, ice or heat? Uh, and it's a great question. Um, what I can tell you about ice and heat is that there is no right answer. And if you go on the Google and if you look, there's mega conflicting evidence here. So what I can speak to is my clinical, uh, things that I've observed in, in my office and clinically and also things that I've experienced myself by using those therapies. And there are two rules that I follow um, fairly religiously and they work um, to a very high percentage. So number one, the number one rule is if you have an acute injury, let's say you, uh, you roll your ankle or you tweak your back lifting with bad form uh, or if you smash your knee, anything like that. So you have an acute injury and there's inflammation, um, you know, and it's, it's, it's blown up and there's injured tissue. So you always want to go with ice in that occasion. And the reason being is because ice can help um, mitigate any inflammatory process. Not that you want to eliminate the inflammation because inflammation is actually the immune response that is the first stage of healing. So you want that inflammation, but usually there's an overwhelming response um, when there's an acute injury. So you want to mitigate some of that inflammation um, to make sure that you still have, um, you know, proper nerve flow, proper blood flow and lymphatic drainage. So using some ice with slight compression is always a good go-to. Um, now ice you want to apply about 20 to 30 minutes. I prefer just actual ice. The ice cubes, just pack that sucker in ice. You can even apply the ice directly to your skin, um, you know, using even just a, a light, uh, you know, Ziploc bag or, or garbage bag, whatever. And um, you can apply that directly to the area of injury. It will get that deep cold right into that injury. Um, and you can do that for about 20 to 30 minutes. And you want to take about an hour break between doing that. Now icing, you only really want to do that for a couple of days you know, two to four to five days um, during that acute process. After that, most of the inflammation will have subsided and you just wanna let the injury do its thing and let your body heal itself. Um, so that's my viewpoint on ice. Now, number two, if you have a chronic issue, let's say you have chronic tightness in your traps because you're a desk jockey and you commute two hours a day um, and you have postural problems and you're doing things like chiropractic and corrective exercise to uh, mitigate these problems but you just always have these knots and these sort of this nasty uh, searing pain in your in your middle back or your traps for example um, heat is a nice go-to so when, it, when I mean heat I mean heat pads or heat therapy like hot tub um, anything like that and what that will do is that will actually promote blood flow um, it will support the the neurological response to those tissues because a lot of times pain can come from trigger points. Um, that's why I'm a huge proponent of things like acumobility balls and doing self-mobilization. So what you can do is you can use some of that heat therapy on those regions and then do some of your soft tissue release. You'll find nice benefit from that. Uh, and um, that's a really, uh, really safe go-to if it's not an acute injury and it's just more of a chronic stiff and tight region. Um, those are usually really good uh, two really good process, you know, rules to follow. Now, of course, there's a lot of gray area. You know, there's things like, well, I, I flared up an old injury. Um, you know, I have this mega delayed onset soreness from this crazy chest workout I did, or uh, I did, you know, double Fran and my quads feel like they're gonna blow up. So for recovery, what I found is that uh, ice works really nice for that. And what I mean by that is things like a cold tub or an ice bath. I've tried cryotherapy. Uh, I've had some nice recovery benefits from that. Um, but also if you have, you know, again, chronic stiffness, uh, things like, you know, a sauna or a hot tub can work really nice. Uh, I just wouldn't necessarily do that pre-workout. I would wait, you know, and do that post-workout recovery for those types of things. So uh, hopefully that's helpful for you, those of you who, um, you know, are, have injuries or you're looking for better recovery habits uh, and you're, you know, wondering about the ice or heat discussion. So thanks for watching.